guys, I'm sure most of you know about this Animal Jam app called Play Wild that has been beta testing for quite a few months. Well, on May the 13th, um, Animal Jam announced on their official blog, which I will leave in the description if you don't know that, that Play Wild had ended. So it was beta tested on Android devices and you had to get invited to a special Play Wild group. Um, by a special invitation from one of the CEOs of Animal Jam. Then you got to play the app. As I said, it went off beta testing, and recently they just announced that Play Wild is now released. It's a proper app now. So it is no longer known as Play Wild Beta, it is known as Animal Jam Play Wild. Since it was beta tested using Android devices, um, now you can play the game on iOS devices. They're probably going to come out for all devices soon, but I'm not sure. At this current moment, you can only obtain it in Australia, New Zealand and Canada. Uh, if you don't live in these places, it's pretty simple. You just change your Apple ID to one of these countries, which is in located in your settings. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to show you the new app. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, there's a few glitches, it crashes sometimes for me, and it lags, but it's a new new app, and I think it's pretty good for what it is. Um, it's pretty neat because you can just log in with your Animal Jam user and pass, so you don't need to stress about making a new account. Okay, well, they haven't changed much since the beta testing. Everything is pretty normal. Let me just go here because I see everyone dancing. Here you can see Myra dancing. So if you dance along with her, then she'll dance and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other secrets you can do. And that's just one of them. It's probably my favorite. Oh yeah, I might as well show you this game. Um, they've got two games that you can play. I'm not sure if this is actually planning and working. Okay, it is. Um, I'll finish explaining afterwards. <laughs> okay. So basically here you have to rotate the cube and you need to match the different squares and I'm very bad at this game just saying Let's see what there is okay um snowflake no fire um <laughs> so bad at this game it is ah poor prince yay okay house no start yep there we go just staring right at my face uh phantoms hearts I don't think I've ever won a single match in this game I don't think this person's played it before though, so um that's 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 great for me. Because they're a new jammer, so they probably haven't seen it yet. I'm taking all the stuff that they're clicking on, I'm so mean. Uh there we go. I might actually win one, that's that's great. Okay. Yay! <laughs> oh it's so cute the little animations. Okay. Okay, so that was that game. And then the other one is pretty self explanatory. I only found a new jammer, they're more likely to have a game request one. And then the next one's just um, Ladybug Lane, which is kind of just like Play Wild's version of 4 Gem. Okay, I said no, fine. Fight! I'm kidding. Okay, um, so every once in a while the clothing items change on these tables here. And, oh, they've got sales, that's pretty cool. And for some reason, they've got really bright colours on their items, they've hardly got any boring colours. Um, and for some reason, uh, they won't let me buy anything. I think usually this happens if you try to change the date on your device. Oops, I don't know what that's doing. And I didn't do that. So it's glitching really badly for me. So I haven't been able to buy anything for a really long time. Yeah, that's that. And then they've got a no normal clothing thing here that kind of stays the same. Got some really nice items. Um, I really like antlers. Antlers are pretty cool. And these are also pretty cool. These archers hats. And oops. Top hats, of course, they've got those here. I don't know where that went. They're all really bright colours. So if you so if you're one of those classic um dark top hats, black spike, black everything kind of look, then you won't want to play this because they've got like hardly any black items besides very few things. Oh yeah, that reminds you, one thing I love about this game. Is you can see usernames like at the bottom of your character. Like you see that person there? It's their username's called Stripe Square, and you can just double click on the thing at the bottom. And when you talk, like, lol, lol, 
Okay, it says the username at the top above where I was talking, which is pretty cool. Okay, it's kind of the same thing as a clothing shop, and they've got some items here that change every once in a while. I probably won't be able to buy these either. And they've got the same normal kind of just catalog thing there. You can click on everything and you can choose if you want to buy it. And for a game that is really hard, no, no, I won't say really hard, but it's reasonably difficult to earn gems. Everything's quite expensive. Um, like you see, I've only got 3,000 gems. And it takes quite a while to earn gems. And I think they did that so um, there won't be a lot of scamming because you don't really get rare items, I guess. You can kind of earn rare items. Like you see, there's a rare cotton can rare cotton candy hair youth kind of thing there. Um so you can you can earn rare items quote unquote by doing these little um treasure hunts at the top. I don't know why that crashed. Okay, I think I fixed it. I might as well play this lady by Glenn. Um so you can kind of Okay, so this is Lady by Glenn by the way. So it's not like it's super super expensive. Okay, it's glitching. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, they're quite expensive for something that takes a while. Uh, so they are rare items, quote unquote rare, but it's not, it just says rare on it. It's not like it's actually worth more because every once in a while you've got those treasure hunts, which I'll show you afterwards. Um, and you can earn items from there, special um, limited edition, I suppose, until it comes to the shop, I guess. Um, but I really hope they'll introduce a few more games so it's a little bit easier to earn some gems. Uh, the Falling Phantoms used to give out a lot of gems, but now not so much. So personally, I like playing Overflow because that gives me the most gems. Oh, I'm gonna win no matter what. Yay! <laughs> I wonder where they'll choose to go. I've got a feeling it'll be the left. Nope, okay. That was a fun game. Good game. A bunny of hope, that's good. And uh, so yeah, you can get special items from treasure hunts. I've already did my ones for today. And every every day you can do your treasure hunt and you get to do each one for each different animal. Like there's one for a wolf and there's one for a bunny and there's one for a um monkey. So you see you can get all the animals here. Um but you can only make one of each unfortunately. So, um, my guess is whenever a new animal gets introduced to Play Wild, you'll be able to buy it. And in my case, when I was signing up, it was lagging, and I accidentally chose a bunny, and I accidentally chose this name. So my bunny will forever be known as Major Wacky Wolf. <laughs> it's quite cute, though, but I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, so here's the map. Uh, you got a few secret places that only special animals can enter, but I'm going to show them as I go around the map, so it's all in order. So I'll start at the last temple of Zeus, I think, that's how you say it. I think this has got a secret spot for the bunny. Um, it's quite cute, you can just go around all here. I really like how this whole thing works. We've got this temple theme above here. So it's all boarded up, I think they're going to see if, if it's going to be successful or not. In my opinion, I've got a feeling like what most apps will do is they're going to um, say, buy this special animal for five ninety nine or something. I've got a feeling that's what they're gonna do. Okay, so I'm just gonna play um Falling Phantoms real quick. So you can see what that's like. I don't think they've got real players in this yet. I think these are all CPUs. But um yeah, okay. I'm trying to focus. Whoops. Alright, no no I can hear the sound. I should turn that on. Wait, whoop There we go. <laughs> oh my god that's loud. Okay, there we go. And you can hear all the phantoms screaming as they plummet to their death, but of course nobody cares because they're phantoms. Poor phantoms. Oh, get the gems. So yeah, I used to earn a lot more gems in this game than you- Oh, oops, good job me. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, so that's kind of the whole temple. And of course, if everyone sleeps by this thing, it will, um, the phantoms will come out. So let me just sleep here. Can everyone sleep, please? I miss the convenience of having the repost chat thing. That was kind of helpful. Okay, no. 
I'm not gonna wait there. And oh, there's a frog. Does anyone remember that frog? No. Okay. This way. Okay, this is where the secret bunny part is. You can see there's like a little bunny thingy there. Yeah. Okay. Let me go there. Um, there's a little bunny cave. It's got all the little flowers and the fruit and the oops, flowers and stuff up here. It's quite cute. I really like this one. I'll go down here again. And what I like, um, I'll show you the bunny actions. It's the dance. It's kind of like the normal Animal Jam one. And what I really like is, okay, you can, I'll zoom in there. It's so cute. There we go. Oops. Cute little bunny. Oh, it's not letting me set. <gasps> oh my word, you can't do an action in an emoticon. Oh. It won't let me use that one. I'm trying to do the blush face, but it won't let me use it. <laughs> I wonder if another one will work. Yeah. <laughs> Only a few won't work. Let me try. That one works. It's just the blush one. <laughs> oh, there it was. Oops. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Okay, so the dance is like the normal Animal Jam one. I like how I can zoom in. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the dance. Oops. There we go. And that's bunny action. It's flying around. What I like is you can rotate it like this. It's pretty cool. Okay. And you can hop. It's quite cute. <laughs> yeah, shame. It's a cute little animation. And you can sit down. It's nothing special there. And it can sleep, which is probably my favorite one. It's so cute. Okay, next I'm gonna go to Crystal Sands. Okay, here it is. Um, it's pretty much the same. And I've got all the stuff here. You can go up here, I think. Yep, okay. I've got this thing again. I never really understood how that works. It kind of, yeah, anyway. And you can go here. Kind of basic Crystal Sands stuff. I love the animation for how they go down the slide. Look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, the ears and everything. It's really cute. Um, I think you can dance and stuff when you go down here as well. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, let me turn. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that. Um, and then there's overflow. It's pretty much the same. Oops, there we go. And there's a lot of stuff still coming soon. And that doesn't have a use yet because they don't have pets. And that's kind of crystal sands. Um, no, you can't go down there. Okay, so I'll just change into my wolf quickly. And I'll show you the secret wolf cave and whatever. That's what it looks like when you transform, by the way, with all the green stuff. I like how they kind of change the animation style when you walk through the water. It's pretty cool. And the water looks good. Like, check out the reflection over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's just go around here. And you've got this game, long shot. You can go up here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I just love how they make it like realistic. Like you can see the background. There's a snake. Hi, snake. Hello, snake. Tell me about your life, snake. How are you doing, good snake? Let's take a selfie with the snake. But first, let me take a selfie. I know if a lot of people sit here, then it's lost your aim, but there's not a lot of people, so yeah. You can go down here. And now I'll show you the wolf cave. Here's the wolf cave. Wow, this is a lot of people. Okay, so this is the wolf cave. I've got the lava, got all the crystals and stuff. It's pretty cool. I've got some pretty chilled music. It has a little fire goblet. I think it's got a goblet, whatever. Over there. Oh, very laggy. Very, very laggy. Okay, I'm chilled. Okay, so that's there. And I'll show you the forest. Okay, the forest is the place for the monkey. Let me just show you first. Um, the monkeys don't get anything very special. All they get is this. Only a monkey can enter here, which is just kind of this um, net thing over here. Only monkeys. So if I turn into a monkey over there, then I'll be able to go up the net over there. <laughs> it's nothing very special for the poor monkeys. Only can go over here to special monkey monkey places over there. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show the monkey actions. Um, just go there. Let's just dance. Oops, nope, that didn't work. Let's just go down here again. Okay, so you got dance. Ah, let me zoom in. <laughs> okay, so, oh, this is very glitchy. Okay, so I'm going to show you the actions, and this is the dance. Wow, very glitchy. Okay, so that's the dance. 
This is the um, monkey action. <laughs> it's quite cute. It jumps around and everything. Oh, very, very glitchy. Okay. And then sit. Oops. What? What is that? Oh, that's jump. I was wondering, what are you? What are you doing? That doesn't look like you're sitting. And then sit. Very intense stare from a very, very, very derpy-looking monkey. And then they sleep, which is <laughs> kind of chilled, kind of relaxing, kind of thing. Okay, so that's the whole monkey, and I'll just show you all the monkey stuff up here. There's another friend frog, I like you friend. And go up here. And there's also a theater, so I'll go in there. They don't show anything special, just the kind of standard animal jam. Um, kind of standard animal jam theater things. And you can play the claw. It's probably one of my favorite games, the way it looks. Kind of like a real arcade game. You gotta move that around. Move it back and forward and everything. I can go there, right to the back, and I'll see if I can get something. Oh, I actually got something. That's a surprise. Okay, so there you go. And you can put these in your den. I'm hoping it will give me the option to accept it. Please don't tell me it's glitching. Ah, oh, yay! Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you've got the little um, theater here. I really like the tables and the whole atmosphere and whatever here. And yeah, I've got all the kind of classic Animal Jam kind of stuff over there. And I will show you Club Geos, Geos, Geos. I don't even know, I'm not gonna try. Um, I'm not sure if anything special happens if you dance. And oh yeah, I'm gonna show the wolf um, actions. Okay, so this is the dance over there. It's pretty strange, but <laughs> nevertheless cute. Uh, I've got the wolf play, which is just the wolf howling. And I've got the wolf hop over there. Jumps very high, wow. Um, sit and sleep. They're quite cute, I, I like it. And of course, as to be expected, the wolf is the most used animal on Play Wild. Yeah, and then here's the pillow room. I actually also really like the pillow room. There's actually very, very few places I dislike in Play Wild. I really love how the animation works, and I think it's very special. Um, there are very few free games that are as nice as this one, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll keep you updated in the description about what's happening with Play Wild and if it's been released for... Um, Android devices or different countries. What do you think of Play Wild so far? In my opinion, I think Play Wild has tons of hope for the future. It's a really fun game with a great community, awesome animations and tons of fun games. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like in the future and I really think it's going to end up being really great. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you some other time. Bye!